Hi friends, welcome to SAP Administration Learning Platform. So in the today's video, we are going to talk about the persistent data storage in the HANA database where the log volume and the data volume basically comes. So let's start for the today's video. So the first question which comes in the mind that why we need persistent data storage for the HANA as we all know that HANA is an in-memory database it means that database is stored under the memory means all operations are executed in the memory so why do we need to store the data at the disk level the first reason is there is a risk of memory failure for that reason to keep the data at the persistent data storage is the way by which we can protect the data by saving data at the persistent we save all the chain data from the memory to the data volume basically this operation is called as a save point and the second reason is that to restore the data to its most recent committed state changes to the data which is in the memory are permanently copied to the disk and can be used to restore the database to its most committed state. The services like the index server, name server and the access engine if running as a separate service have its own volumes and have its own save point that way all the change data on the disk similarly there is any changes happen the same changes get recorded into the log we can use the log and the backup to restore the database to the recent committed state so basically these are the two reason what I felt is the reason behind keeping the data as the persistent data storage let's focus on the next point that is which media types can be used to store the data so the disk storage is the traditional storage type that get used store the data similarly we can also use non volatile RAM to store the data so these are the two options that we can use to store the data at the persistent level so the third point that we are going to discuss is the type of the volume so basically the motto of the data volume and the log volume is the same that whenever the data needed to restore the database to this to its most committed state we can use the changes those are stored in the log as well as the data to restore the database so the two storage types operate in the similar way but there are some essential differences as per the use and the operations so basically the two types are the data volume and the log volume now let's talk about specifically about the data volume so what is the data volume so data volume is basically is a volume to store the data by default each data volume contain only one file that we saw here right for the name server and even if we see for the index server if we click on the data so we can see only the one file that is the data volume underscore double zero double zero dot dat is the file at the persistent level in which the data is organized into pages and these pages ranging in size from 4 KB to 16 MB when the data is written to that file and loaded from the data volume it's as per the page wise pages are created change overwritten and deleted as per the requirement the, si the size of the data file is automatically increased as the more space is required 
However, it is not automatically decreased when the less space is required. But we can manually shrink the data volume to freeze the space if needed. So now let's talk about the log volume. Basically, in each log volume, we can see the multiple files. So under that multiple files, there is a single log segment underscore partition ID then the directory dot dat file and the remaining files will be the the log segment hundreds of files so here we can see for the name server we can see the multiple log segment files even if we have to identify the difference between the log segment directory file and the the log segment file we can see here the status of the the log segment file is free then backed up writing and sometime it will be truncated closed written free free pre-allocated formatting so this this kind of the status will be for the log segment files and only file which is a free of the status we can see that is the log segment directory file I just want to explain you about the path structuring of the log volume as well as the data volume here we can see the basic path for the HANA slash log is the HANA slash log then the SID of the database and the next providing us information about the host in our case there is a single host for that reason the MNT and the host number is 1 after that the next directory it inform us about this service the, this is the information about the service so if we see at the OS level we can see here there are total three directories because in our case we have a three services those have their log volumes for that reason here we can see only the three directory these directories are called as the log partition so for each and every services there is only one log partition supported inside of this log partition so here we can see the multiple log segment those are created for the name server or the name server service the next one is for the access engine and the last one is for the index server so we can see the naming convention is also the unique one is provided for each and every services this all log segments get used in in the cyclical manner it means that if the one log segment is get full it goes to the another one and write the logs and then it goes to the third one and it also depend upon the the kind of log backup mode which is set into the system so if we have the normal log backup mode so after certain amount of time or as per the condition the logs get returned to the log backup and then the next time log segment file get used to write the new log under that same file so the old log get overwritten so basically this is the process get followed to write the log from the memory to the log segment there will be a situation when you will observe that all the log segments are full and there is no space for the log partition to expand means to create the new log segment so if you want to know the process please refer my blog to get the more information how to perform this operation the next question is which are the directories that get used to store the data and the logs 
at the disk level or at the persistent level. So by default when we install the HANA database these are the directories get created by default but it's not necessary that data gets stored into that directory only because as we know the directory structure so for the data and the log basically the directories those we need to store the data is the slash hana slash data and slash hana slash log these are the directories where the data and the logs get stored if you want to know the more details then there is a one more option that we can use that is the configuration in the configuration we just have to use these two parameters to get the details about the location of the data volume and the log volume and it will be under the global.ini file so by simply putting the parameter name that is the best path underscore data here we can see the HANA slash data slash HDB is the default path for data volume similarly for the log we can also see the path is HANA slash log slash HDB similarly we can get the information from the database views so we just have to run the simple query that select star from the m underscore data underscore volume so here we can get the information so if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get the notification about the upcoming videos so thank you so much for watching the video take care bye bye